Alright everybody, welcome back. I'm a buffoon. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, this is my third time recording this, but uh, every time I did record this, I just ended up missing something and the videos would be too long, but we are here now and the collaboration for Ray Zero is here, so let us actually jump right on in and look at exactly what the details are. Now, I have yet to actually look at the characters, but let us see how broken these guys can be so starting off we have amelia here she is a blue unit her uh passive when the hero receives attacks from the same enemy two or more times during enemy's turn cleanse all debuffs from allies and freeze the enemy for two turns excluding the death match of course which is uh demons uh this <laughs> That's this is really good actually. That that wow. Okay, she's she's looking real kind of clean after this. Uh for her first skill, Puck, please. Which if you don't know who Puck is, that's her like little cat dad or whatever the fucking thing is. I don't know. Uh inflict inflicts damage equal to 360% of attack on one enemy and freezes for two turns. When the freeze is removed by using skills ultimate moves or after turns have passed inflict damage equal to 40 percent of the remaining hp so i do not know what in the hell i mean this sounds good right 360 and uh, freeze but i'm not too sure about anything else here uh the freeze is removed by using skills ultimate moves or after turns have hmm not too sure about that one but uh, we'll have to exactly see how this one plays out but her second skill all all huma 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 something like that inflicts damage equal to 180 percent of attack on all enemies depletes two ultimate move gauge orbs at the end of the enemy's turn green gother strikes back ladies and gentlemen uh this is the exact uh skill that green gother has but I think it's a little bit nerfed, actually. But uh, that is still very good. Uh, inflict secret technique damage equal to 300% of attack on all enemies and deal damage with attribute advantage regardless of attribute. So I think this is Lost Vein. Like this ultimate's like Lost Vein, I think. Secret technique 20% additional damage per hero skill for hero skill yeah this is exactly what this is okay so yeah lost vein and her uh ult level max is 450 percent with 60 percent additional damage per hero skill okay she seems really good and uh yeah we'll see exactly how these guys place out in the meta going down we have ram or rim excuse me at a red type and her passive when the hero uses skill or move skill to rank up a skill and gain ultimate move gauge orb, increases attack related stats by 5% for 3 turns up to 5 times. If there are 5 or more ultimate move gauge orbs, recover 30% of maximum HP. That is a mouthful, but this seems really good. She's able to buff herself by uh, gaining skill orbs and... She's able to hear, heal herself a little bit as well. So that is going to be very nice. Ooh. Crushing hit inflicts amplified damage equal to 450% attack on one enemy. Damage dealt plus 30% per active buff on self. That is going to be massive with, uh, like, green... What are their names? Oh, no! Rem is a fucking unknown type. No. So is Amelia. What the fuck? Oh, my. No. Green Gother Shaft. Oh, man. That sucks. Damn it. Oh, well. I guess that's going to be fine. <sighs> Boisterous Dance of the Oni. Inflicts damage equal to 325% of the attack on all enemies. Decrease... Ultimate move damage by 50% and restricts ultimate move effect for two turns. I'm going to have to guess this is going to be for the enemies right here. Not on herself, because that would be kind of silly. But uh, uh, her 
the whatever this is, Ultimate Night Parade of the Blue Oni. Inflicts shattered, da shattered damage equal to 420 of attack on all enemies. So that's pretty good as well. Um, this really sucks that they're counted as unknown because technically, if you did not know, uh, Ram and Rim are both Onis, which kind of, sort of, should count as demons, but, oh, well, it, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, anywho, moving down, we have Rem, which, uh, she's also an unknown type. Increase unknown allies' basic stats by 20%. Excuse me, what? Increase unknown allies' basic, okay. Ram is looking real spicy so far. Cancel stance on one enemy and inflicts damage equal to 250% of attack, then stuns for two turns. Uh, her, you should eat it. Okay, inflicts rupture damage equal to 250% attack on all enemies. And her ultimate is inflict damage equal to 300% of attack on all enemies, decreases attack related stats by 30% for three turns. Okay, Ram, you need to calm down. So this is looking, she's looking really good. And I may be overhyping her. I may be, I don't know. But not only is she increasing uh, basic stats for the unknown allies, she's also putting a stun up. She's also doing rupture damage, which is the exact same skill as Meliodas' AoE card for uh, assault mode. And she's putting attack related stat debuff on the enemies for three turns. Like, she's looking really good, actually. Um, wow, I'm actually kind of surprised, honestly. I got, um, so we have Beatrice here. She's also a blue unit. She increases the hero's HP related stats by 5% for each unknown ally in battle. Recovers HP of unknown allies by 60% of the amount the hero recovers when using skills. What the fuck? So she's a... So Beatrice, right? She's a healer. But she doesn't need to use cards to heal your allies. She just does that in her passive. Oh, wait. Applies when entering battle. Wait, 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 wait. Is that per turn? If that's per turn, that's busted as shit. But if this is just like whenever she first enters the battlefield, you'll regain all this, then it, then that's kind of trash. Um, I'm honestly going to have to see her in battle. Uh, but if this is per turn, this is going to be insane, uh, to say the very least. But going down. Uh, mana collection inflicts damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy and life steals 100% of the damage. Oh, damn, she's just a healer out here. Okay. Inflicts despair damage equal to 325 of attack on all enemies. Of course, if you do not know what despair does now, it recovers 30% of the diminished HP upon successful critical strike. Very good. This means she's probably going to be heavily str uh, critical rate. Uh, user, so that's gonna be nice. Inflict damage equal to 350% of attack on all enemies and life steal 30% of the damage. Jeez, okay, these characters are looking really spicy, guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys if you want to summon because here is the banner. Uh, it's kind of dog shit. 0.25% chance for one of the four new units, so 1% chance in total. But we have dog shit units here. Uh, I think this is green, Escanor, red, Hauser, green, Jericho. Uh, I believe this one right here is blue Merlin, uh, blue Goth blue fat Gother, or not Gother, uh, excuse me, uh, blue fat king. Uh, is this red Gother, actually? This, uh, Linus's hero. I think this is red Gother. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think that's Red Gother. I don't think that's green. They'd uh, probably put him in this pool as well if it, that was green. So this is... I think this is Blue Skinny King, Blue Bon, Green Elizabeth, and Green Captain Meliodas. Uh, so, Green Counter Melly. The banner 
is looking really bad. I'm going to put that out there, but if you guys want to summon, go ahead and do so. I will not say whether you should or not, because that is not my place. But just do keep in mind that after this collaboration is over, we may or may not get a Holy War Festival right after. So do keep that in mind. But uh, moving down, of course, it's going to be the same setup as a lot of just normal banners anymore. Uh, 300 and 600... Um, step up of course it's going to be you know choose one of the four characters i really wish that we would get the step ups back but we probably won't ever see those uh very often uh so we have new outfits for the four characters of course we have amelia rem ram and beatrice now of course all of these costumes are going to be about 20 bucks 21 bucks give or take for each and every single one of these so 21 times 8 that's gonna be like 116 bucks to get everyone I think everyone's costumes I think give or take but uh, yeah that's gonna be a real pain in the ass but for the whales out there go right ahead it's gonna be nice so we are getting a new hawk pass and I do believe the Hawk Pass previously, the uh, mileage points that we had, are going to continue over to this one. Which is going to be very, very cool. Of course, we have dailies and weekly missions alike. Um, sacred weapon lineup, right? 30 diamonds or 1,400 mileage points to purchase each piece. Uh, so, yep, Eskinor set's going to stay there. I Tell me down in the comments if this is a new set for Hawk. I think it might be, but I'm not too sure because I actually really never really given him a two over. Uh, so everything looks like it's the same right there. Right, we get a free multi uh, with login. So log in for seven days and get uh, ten tickets and six SA coins. Uh, we have right here uh, missions to get ourselves a free Rem, which is going to be very cool because she's looking really, really good. Uh, moving down, we have the Peltagus, or Peltagius, I, I don't remember how to say his name, but we have this kind of like, it's not a raid boss, but it's like a boss that we normally get going through. And I believe we get uh, free costumes for Ram, no, Ram and uh, Beatrice here. So that's going to be cool. Of course, you get uh, up to 20 times, 8 gems, 3 of those, and 5 UR cosmetics. Yep, uh, Ram and uh, Beatrice are getting free cosmetics. And do they have, oh no, they don't have the fucking uh, cosmetics that you can get with these no that oh well that sucks like fucking hell man i i was really looking forward to that but that's okay moving down uh we have great success and super great success rate ups when enhancing characters uh success and super great success for salvaging fucking uh, main stage and free stage 50 percent ap consumption event oh that's cool Maybe, uh, actually, I don't know if that's going to work with the gold dungeon, but that's okay. Now, you might have heard me sigh right there, but we we on JP have not gotten a rate up on the equipment draw in so long, and I was really hoping that we would get one here, but we didn't. I don't know if we'll ever get one anymore, because we haven't gotten one in months. But the king shop, if you... Uh, the King Shop got a upgrade. I don't know why it doesn't show this here. Uh, do I have the... No, I do not. Uh, here, hold on. I will be right back. I am actually going to pull something up. Uh, let me just go to Google.
All right, we're back. Uh, so basically, uh, it doesn't show it on uh, GC Grand Database or whatever, but the King Shop is getting a brand new update. And what that update is going to look like is that we are able to exchange three rare pendants for cosmetics for each and every one of these, I believe. But I think we'll only be able to get 60 in total. But that's going to be very good. We can get 20 of each if we want it, or 60 of one, whatever. That's It's going to be really nice and just total, right? But we'll also be able to get rid of t uh, three SR p pendants for one Super Awakening coin up to 10 times. That is going to be very nice for uh, a lot of players. Uh, so, yes. This is going to be probably one of the better updates come through this. But, yeah, let us actually go on down. So we have some whale cell bundles. Um, I'm actually not going to read those off. You guys can pause the video if you would like and take a look. But, uh, yeah, those are going to be very nice for the whales. Of course, we have the step-up whale bundle. Right, right, right. So we have super weighting uh, increased to level 5. So instead of being level 4, it's now 5. And I do not know exactly how much you need to super awaken into level 5, but it is there for the players who have the resources. Now, there is going to be a new stage added to the Time Limited Dungeon. In this stage, you'll be gaining uh, super awakening coins per key that you use. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the hourglass key that we have through every maintenance, or if this is going to be a brand new item that they're going to add into the game. I'm not sure whether it's going to be one or the latter, but I would hope it's a new coin or a new item rather. Uh, so we can just have separate items for each and every one, but I would understand if it's going to take the hourglasses as well. But Including with that, we have a new Tower of Trials. Instead of making the tower seasonal, the tower will be continuously updated with higher level floors. In addition, the stage characteristics and special uniques are at times hidden. Going to be really cool. Uh, collab Coin Shop. Uh, okay, so... You can exchange for one of these characters with three of the festival coins. Uh, of the ReZero collab coins, I should say, rather. So that's going to be nice. And this right here is dumb as hell. It's one festival coin you can exchange for nine Super Awakening coins. Now, I don't know what Brainiac over at Netmarble decided this would be okay, but I... They should get the boot, honestly. This is really dumb. Please don't do this, guys. This is a waste of materials. But we had the Botra uh, story event coming back so, to get us chalices. Uh, functions added to skip night boss battle, final boss, and event boss animations. Oh, that's going to be really cool. Now you guys can kind of pause the video here. But uh, basically, the PvP shop uh, got an update to where everything would be cheaper. So 100 power up stones cost 100 PvP coins, uh, and just a couple other stuff. Anvils times 10, and just a couple of other things. Now some of these are really, really, really overpriced. Like a Super Awakening coin is 6,000 PvP coins. That is a shit ton. Uh, so, same with a six star awakening coin and then this is the funniest thing ever part two and part one tickets are going to cost you 20,000 pvp coins per that is insanity how much you have to get for those fucking tickets which you won't even get something good off of so yeah that is just that is wild but uh, daily missions are back, Super Wagon Coins, Anvils, Cosmetics, and all the sorts. Engraving is available for the four new characters. Shepherd of Death, Human Weapon Mono has gotten her buff that Global had. So instead of it just being she'll get 50% 50, 50 extra damage uh, for one of the three debuffs, she'll get it per debuff now. So that's going to be very big for these characters. 
or for the her rather uh for this right here the lifesteal buff uh so at basically what it was before was it was 20 30 and 40 percent life steal on the damage but now they've made it to where one star two star and three stars are uh buffed so one star being 40 percent two star being 60 and three star being 100 percent life stolen the same goes for the ultimate it is now 100 percent bug fixes of course nothing really too crazy right there Denzel is getting added to the part two pool for the guaranteed SSR ticket and the race tickets. Costumes for Livia and Valenti will be on sale at all times in the sacred treasure shop now. So yep, that's gonna be it everybody. I hope everyone has enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. You know, comment, like, sub, you all know that YouTuber bullshit at this point. But yeah, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and has enjoyed. Thank you all so much. Later.